Good morning, first graders. Um, as you know, we are going to be making some changes to how we do some of our online learning. Uh, one of those changes is going to be in reading. We are still going to ask you to read to self every single day. Um, I want you to do that on Raz Kids or on books that you have at home or that you brought home from school, but you're going to be practicing reading every day. Um, but we're also going to ask you to watch a read aloud uh, that is going to be done by either me or by Miss D. We're going to switch off the days that we're doing it. And then you're going to respond in some way on Seesaw. Each week is going to have some sort of theme, um, something that each of the books those weeks is going to focus on and that we can discuss throughout the week. Um, our very first theme this week is going to be celebrate diversity. So that is actually something that we at IAA are already really good at. We have families from lots of different places and we are super welcoming and supportive of everybody. But I want you to take a moment right now and I want you to think in your side your brain about what you think diversity is. And one of the things that I'm going to do during our read alouds is I'm gonna use our singing bowls. And whenever I want you to pause and to think about a question or think about the book, I'm going to ring our bell just like that. And that means that you can pause the, the video for a moment and you could be thinking about what question we just asked, or you could talk to somebody who's with you if you're watching the video with somebody. But I want you to take a moment and think about what it is that we're asking or about the book itself. So right now, I want you to take a moment. I'm going to ring our bell in just a second. And I want you to think about what does diversity mean? Great. Then I'm going to keep talking. So if you didn't pause the video, like it's only going to be like a two second break. So if you really want time to talk about it, make sure that you pause the video first. Um, the book that we're going to look at today is about diversity and we're really going to start looking at that. So I wrote um, a definition for diversity up that we can read together. I'm going to read it twice so I can read it one time and then you can read it with me. So it says diversity means different. We are different in many ways, including race and ethnicity, abilities, language, age, culture, appearance, religion, and so many more things. There's so many ways that we as a people are diverse. Let's read it one more time and you can practice reading it with me. Diversity means different. We are different in many ways, including race and ethnicity, abilities, language, age, culture, appearance, religion, and more. The book that we're gonna look at today to introduce this is really looking at the ways that we are the same and the ways that we are different across the whole world. Um, it has lots of really amazing photographs in it, and I'm going to make sure to hold it up really close to the screen to make sure that you can see it. This book is called To Be a Kid, and it's written by Maya Ajmera, and the illustrations or the pictures are by John Ivanko. And this book is really going to teach you about kids from lots of different places. They might live in communities that are far away from here, or they might have be right here in America as well. And we're going to explore their lives and how they're the same and different to our own lives. What kind of things do you think we're going to see inside this book? So I hope you're going to keep those ideas in your mind and then we can talk about that at the end of the video as well after I read the story. Um, before we start the, the story, I want to talk about some words that you might see in this book that might be kind of tricky. 
Um, every time I read a book, I like to always go through it and see, are there any tricky words that I might not understand? And I might need to look up a definition or make sure that I know what they're talking about. And, and I found three in this book that we're going to talk about really quickly, just to make sure that we know uh, what these words mean. So the first word that I have is marching. The first word is marching. And in this book, marching means to walk or to step in the same way as a group of people at the same time. Um, we march in, um, in step, like in a marching band, or if you're in a parade together, we kind of walk together down the parade, we march together. If you're at a protest, um, lots of our families have been doing those lately, like those are also a way for us to march together. We walk or step in the same way at the same time. So I'm gonna put this, book up and I'm actually going to turn my paper to our story so we can kind of keep track of a couple things. So there's the name of our book, To Be a Kid, and I'm going to put the word marching underneath so that we can remind ourselves of that book, of that word later. Another word that I found is a small word and I think that most people will at least know this word, um, but we want to make sure that we understand exactly what it means. And this word I actually really love is joy. So what does joy mean? What does joy mean? Joy means that you're extremely happy about something, that you are so happy. It means something a little different than excited. Excited is when you're jumping up and down and you're just like so ready to do something or you've wanted something for a really long time. Joy is more like a calm happy, but it is a feeling of just being extra extremely happy. I'm going to put the R word up there. And my final word, I have a feeling as first graders that you know this phrase, um, at least my class does. The phrase is goofing off. So what does goofing off mean? And if you said being silly or playing around a little bit, then you are correct. Uh, goofing off doesn't mean that you're making trouble. It just means that you're kind of acting silly. Maybe everyone is laughing. Um, we tend to talk about lots of funny, silly things during our morning meetings in the morning in my class. And so maybe sometimes we get a little excited about it and it might turn into a little bit of goofing off. So we're going to see all of these words in our book. And one of the challenges that I'm going to give you when we're reading this book today is that when you see one of these words or you hear one of these words in the book, I want you to put up a V like vocabulary. Vocabulary is a fancy word for words. And I want you to hold that up. And I know that I can't see you, but I'm going to trust that you're doing it and to really listen and look for those words in this book. All right. So we are going to start reading this book. I'm really excited to be a kid. It is all real photographs. And actually, maybe I'll just come a little closer to the camera to read the story. There is a map at the beginning that shows all the different places that they are going to talk about in this book. I really like that. All of the places that are colored in are all going to be represented in this story. There is a nice foreword, but we're not going to read that. It's mostly about the authors and how they took the pictures. So our story begins on this page. It says, to be a kid means being carried by those who love you. This is a photo from Senegal, from Nepal, from Japan, from the United States. What do you notice that is the same and what is different? And spending time with your family, Canada, Portugal, Nepal, the Philippines, Israel, each picture is from a different country. And you can see all the things that these families are doing. To be a kid means going to school and learning lots of new things. South Africa, Pakistan, Russia, the Philippines, Ethiopia, Marshall Islands,
To be a kid means walking home together in Bolivia or South Africa, sharing a story in Guatemala or Ecuador, having a cool snack on a hot summer day in Denmark or Bolivia, marching in a parade. Did you see our word? Marching. Marching in a parade in Ecuador or the United States or Botswana. Nice job if you caught the word. To be a kid means playing ball in India, in Cuba, in Mexico, in Antigua and Barbuda. I'll let you get a little close up of those words, photos. Running races in Mexico and France. Going skating in Switzerland and Sweden. Riding a merry-go-round in Austria and France. Have you seen a merry-go-round? Or playing a board game in Nepal and the United States. To be a kid means painting beautiful pictures in Poland, South Africa, India, sharing the joy of music. Did you find the word? The joy of music in Peru or China. Or dancing your heart out. Ooh, look at these. This is Ireland and the Philippines, India, the United States, and the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is countries like England and Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland. To be a kid means taking care of animals in the United States, Japan, India, Haiti, Ecuador, Mongolia. These are all over the world. Are you noticing things that are the same and that are different to maybe how what you do in your life? To be a kid means goofing off in Madagascar, South Africa. Ooh, did you catch it? Did you put a V up for goofing off? And acting silly in Swaziland, Guatemala, and Belize. To be a kid means making friends that last forever and ever. Look at all these pictures of friends. China, Benin, Australia, Oman, Mozambique, the United States. And at the very end, it talks about some of the pictures about families and about school and about play. What did you think of that book? I want you to take a moment and think about what are the things that you notice that are the same? And what are some of the things that are different than how you spend your days in your life? Great job. So our focus today was to explore how the lives of people in other countries are the same and different than in our own. And we live in such a big country and there's so many different people that come here that a lot of times the things that we do in our own countries, in individual countries, the United States or in Ethiopia and other places might be the same and different even in those countries themselves as well. Um, as a person who didn't grow up in Vermont, there's things that we do here in Vermont that I didn't do in Oregon. And I'm sure that there's other things away that you would think that 
that you wouldn't have experienced that if I told you about some of the things that I used to do. So what I want you to do is think about the pictures that you saw in this book. And if you need to go back in the book and, and listen to it again, then that'd be a really great thing to do. Um, and really think about what did you notice that are, are the same, um, and yet they're somehow a little bit different because it, everybody was going to school. Everybody was playing. Everyone was goofing off, but they were all doing it maybe in a little bit different way. So when you go to Seesaw today, I'm going to ask you to do uh, one thing. You're going to log on and you are going to see um, an activity that has the name of the book at the top. That's going to be the name of the activity. It's going to say to be a kid. And I'm going to ask you to put some of those thoughts of what you're thinking about right now into a document. All I'm gonna ask you to do is tell me two things of what is something that you notice that is the same as you and what is something that is different than you. So your chart is going to look like this. It's going to say same as me and different as me. And there'll be two big like text boxes or spaces for you to put some information. You can draw a picture in that spot. You can uh, write in that spot. Um, you could even tap the microphone and use words and tell me the answers to those. But I want to hear two different things. I want to hear one thing that is the same as you and one thing that is different than you. We are talking about how important diversity is and how we celebrate all of these differences and finding ways that we're the same and celebrating the ways that we are different. So I can't wait to see what you put uh, online on your journals. For today, that will be it. I want you to go right to Seesaw and get to work and make sure that you're reading books. And I will see you again tomorrow with a new book. Bye.